Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are at Custom Audio Video with our friend Ian, and we are talking about security cameras today. We are. Something that people don't really think of Custom Audio Video, you know, when uh, they're trying to do cameras in their house. Um, we don't do security systems, you know, uh, switches on windows and doors and things like that, but we do cameras. So it kind of all falls into the realm of audio video um, because we integrate these with control systems so we can view them on uh, various different um, touch panels and screens and things in the house. Well, and before we started filming, yeah. I said, so it's not an alarm system, but mm -hmm. it is. But you said, well, it's not, but it can trigger an alarm system. Sure, sure. There's lots and lots of different ways that you can uh, use the cameras. Um, you know, simple things like email alerts. So if there's um, something that triggers recording of the cameras, then it could send you an email to let you know that there's been activity. So, you know, if you're away from your house, at least you, you, you've got that safeguard. You can pull it up on and See have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so tell us about the one you're holding. So there's lots of different styles um, and different companies that we use for the cameras too. This is really quite a small one. It could go on a wall or uh, on a ceiling. Um, and it's kind of like a, a, a typical dome sort of camera, mm -hmm. uh, but very small. The cameras we would choose um, for the particular application, you know, so it could just be a, a short distance that you want to view, or it could be a long distance down a dock, for instance. And, okay. and then have the ability to zoom in. Um, there's, there's cameras that are static view, they just point one way and that's it. Right. There's other cameras ca called uh, PTZs, pan, tilt, zoom, and they allow the, the, the owner to, to actually move the camera into different positions so they can view different things on the property. Okay, and is that they can do that remotely? They can. Um, Here's another style, a dome. This is much bigger. Right. And that's t typically when you think about um, security cameras, uh, for me anyway, I think about things like this. Right. Um, usually what would happen is there'll be several throughout the house. Let's say each corner of the house, for instance, you just want to check the exterior. Uh, we would wire these up to uh, a DVR, so the activity is recorded, and you get different size DVR, so you can record you know, two days or seven days, so there's more storage in the DVR. Okay. Um, along with that, the owners can have an app on their iPhone or iPad, uh, and that then allows them to, to not only view the camera, but also control it and, and move it to see different parts of the, the property. And so do you normally put them just outside the home mm -hmm. or do you do inside too? No, inside too. Um, it really just depends on the client. Sometimes they want to, to have the front door, so they might just have one in the foyer. Um, other times, um, it, it could be on the back porches, you know, so really wherever they want to, to have it to, to get good coverage. And are they running all the time, or are they motion activated, or how do they work? Uh, both. You, okay. you, you can have them run all the time, or you can also have uh, motion activation. So it just starts to record when there's there's some motion in the in the view. Yeah. This is a tiny one. It is a tiny one. So, just you know, different cameras for different applications, really. Um, there's a fairly large what we call a bullet camera, um, and you see these around too. Usually, uh, you know. Uh, it would be an outdoor, this would definitely be an outdoor camera. It has a shield that can uh, uh, give the, the actual lens uh, some protection from the sun so you don't get, you know, direct glare in the camera. Okay. Um, but this particular company, um, they can actually track movement. So um, let's say there's something that comes into a particular field in the, in the, the camera view, at that point, um, the system would say zoom in on the face, okay. and then if that person moves away into a different area, the camera would actually track the movement of the people too. Wow. So it's not just a case of you know Coming manual in and out control. Of frame. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's quite a handy feature, and yeah. it can zoom in 
a huge amount so, so you can get minute details. So that person's busted if you have this I camera. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it might just be your kids. So right. it might not be somebody who's going to be busted. Right, right, right. Oh, gosh. And so when you um, want to see the footage in your home, where, where, what are you looking okay. at? Um, typically, you know, people ask for these to, to be able to view uh, on a TV, and that's perfectly possible. But usually we'll integrate these into a, an audio video control system that may have um, touch screens okay. uh, on the wall or again have an iPad or iPhone app. So you, you have the ability to view them uh, through all of these different uh, ways, through the, through the apps on TV or also on the touch panel. So on the touch panel, it's, it's just part of their regular audio video system yep. that controls mm -hmm. other things mm -hmm. in their home, but then it can go also exactly. to showing the security footage. So the touch panel may, it may have things like uh, an intercom, so you know, upstairs to downstairs type right. thing. Uh, it'll have the ability to control the music in the house, um, as well as, you know, uh, direct TV or people like, you know, companies like that that you want to uh, view on your television. Yeah, so it can be integrated into what you already yeah, have, exactly. which is nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so who knew? We have security who here knew? at Custom Audio Video Absolutely. too. So if you want some of these cameras or if you have any other custom audio video needs, make sure you come and see Ian. And thank you so much for being with us. We'll see you next time on Girl Talk.